guys, it is time for me to tell you what I have on my bucket list for 2023. What up YouTube, it's me Tony and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is finally November, it's finally November, it's finally November, eh, eh, period, period, eh. Guys, it is finally November, I am so excited, this year is coming to an end. It's time for a new year, and that new year is 2023, and for 2023, I made a 2023 bucket list. Because I usually never stick to my new year's resolution, so I feel like if I'm just making a bucket list, well, it's kind of the same thing. Um, anyway, so I created a 2023 bucket list, and I'm gonna tell you guys what's on it. Um, pretty simple. This video is probably not gonna be- Oh, okay. I know where she wants to go. Okay, anyways. So I'm gonna be telling you guys what's on my 2023 bucket list. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I have on my list is have a glow up. Okay, so now I know like, um, I kind of already had like a little glow up. Like I used to look kind of like beat up. Like I used to look, but um, I kind of already had like a glow up. I'm kind of like in my glow up moment right now. But like I feel like I, like I could have a bigger glow up. So I feel like 2023 I'm going to have another glow up and I just or I might not have one, but I want to have another glow up in 2023. I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be turning 18 next year. So I feel like it's like, it's the time where I need to like, look like an adult. 2023 is going to be the year. 2023 is going to be the year where I become an adult. That's... I'm so excited. Okay, so next one on my list, I have grow my TikTok channel. So my TikTok, uh, or account... Uh, my TikTok account right now is at 12.4 thousand followers, I think. Yeah, 12.4k. Um, but I want to, like, in 2023, I want to get to at least 50k. She wants to leave. Anyways... Okay, so I think in 2023, I kind of want to get to 50K. Like, that's not, if you think about it, from 12K, 12.4K to 50K, that's not that far off. You know, um, so yeah, I really want to start taking my, like, social media seriously. Um, TikTok, I have, like, the biggest following. So TikTok is, like, the best place to start to, like, think about growing farther and farther. I want to start doing my social media professionally. And so, like I said, like, three times already. But TikTok, yeah, I want to get to at least 50K in 2023. I think that'll be a good achievement. Okay, next one is learn Korean. Now, I've kind of already, like, I've been so, like, intrigued and invested in learning more and more about Korean culture. I've watched a lot of Korean shows, watched a lot of, like, K-pop, and I've been listening to a lot of, like, Korean artists and listening to the Korean language in general. And also the Korean food and fashion is just so like it's so cool like okay <laughs> not my freaking not my card being out of space okay so yeah i've been really into the korean culture and i think um i've been trying to learn korean language uh i always go like on and off about like learning it but like i always like never like stay consistent so i always forget everything i learn i wouldn't say i mastered but i kind of like know the basics of like the alphabet which in Korean they call it that Hangul or something like that. Hangul, I think. But I kind of, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to like Hangul. Um, but I think just learning Korean language in general will be really nice because in the future I definitely want to travel to Korea. I think that'll be really cool. Dang, I need some Vaseline. My lips dry as heck. My lips hecka dry. Hold on. it. Okay, next uh, points on my bucket list is eating more healthy. Now, um, I never like really consider that I'm always like eating healthy. I want to really like commit to eating healthy and really like challenge myself to start eating healthy like every single day. Um, with this year, 2022, I've been starting to try eat healthy. Like I would eat healthy like once a week. And like that's not like, you know what I mean? Like the other days I would eat like fast food or like snacks and chips and stuff like that but like i want to start eating healthy and like good foods um every single day um for next year or at least more than i'm doing this year just because i feel like it's good to be healthy and i'm like i'm not i mean i am but like 
I could be healthier. Okay, next one I have worry about my self-care slash mental health. In 2022, well, from 2020 to 2022, it's kind of started, especially 2020 with everything that's been going on and everything that's been happening with, like, COVID and stuff like that. I haven't really been, like, focusing on my self-care or mental health. I kind of just, like, let it go down the drain. Especially with, like, my sleep schedule, I always, like, go to bed at, like, 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. and then wake up at, like, 8 a.m. Like, it's part of my routine now, and I don't want that to be part of my routine. So I definitely want to start worrying about, like, my self-care, like, taking care of my own body making sure I get enough sleep eating healthy like I said in the other one um, in the other point and just start taking care of my body more um, so yeah <laughs> next point I have is go to Coachella slash big mu music festival slash big concert so if you guys don't know Coachella which you probably do know Coachella is like this big music festival it's like a once-in-a-lifetime experience like it is so I'm pretty sure you guys already know Coachella, what Coachella is. Really big music and arts festival. Um, a lot of big influencers that you might see on this YouTube platform go to Coachella and it'll be nice to, you know, see them. But it's also really expensive. Not only do you get to listen to this nice music, but you also get to be creative with your fashion and your sense of clothes. And you get to wear these nice outfits every single day at the concert or the festival. And you get to show off your creativity and everyone always likes to step up their game. And I would just love to go, you know, that'd be really nice. Um, but like big concerts, big music, music festivals, I just, I don't think I've ever been to a big concert in a while i went to the ariana grande sweetener concert and that was amazing i need to start going to more concerts they're just so much fun and it's like a good experience so i definitely that's on my bucket list next point i have is grow my twitch channel so like i was saying i want to start taking my social media more seriously um i started i have a tiktok account instagram account um uh, i got snapchat blah 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 started like getting into twitch a while ago and I'm I just like stream and game literally um because it's like <sighs> YouTube is one thing but like when it's twitch you get to see like a whole nother like side of people um usually um people stream gaming content on twitch and I'm a big gamer and I don't feel like people know that and so I definitely like streaming uh some games on twitch um I don't have like a set schedule and I literally just started the account so I literally have like two followers <laughs> you have to start somewhere you got guys you have to start somewhere and like it's just so fun it's so easy to like you could literally just be like sitting in your bed or just like lying on the freaking floor and just playing video games all you have to do is just stream it you don't even have to show your face all you have to do is just stream it and put it on twitch you might get some views but you always have to start somewhere so I think um, growing my twitch account or my twitch channel in 2023 would be a nice step in the pursuing my social media career professionally uh next point i have is have more than a thousand subscribers on youtube if you think about it that's a while away just because i have all i have all sundays in november and because i upload on sundays i have all sundays in november all sundays in december until i get to january and this is also my 2023 bucket list so out of all of 2023 i at least want to hit a thousand subscribers or have more than a thousand subscribers and i feel like if i stay consistent that will get there at the time it needs to um but definitely in 2023 i definitely want to have a thousand or more than a thousand subscribers on youtube if i wanted to grow my uh social media in any way i would want it to be youtube just because youtube is such a nice <gasps> my foot is falling asleep oh my god do you know when your foot falls asleep and it's literally like it tingles and it hurts okay next few points i have i'm gonna put in the same like kind of category but it's get a tattoo or get a piercing get another piercing i do have a nose piercing and i do have my singles i pierced my doubles and triples on both sides by myself um but they kind of closed up because they got infected so like i need more and i do have a tattoo right here i have this one i have okay so here's the tattoo it's of saturn um i <laughs> my dad has the same one we've got it on the same day and so that was for my birthday my 17th birthday i think i feel like when i get older i'm definitely gonna be a tattoo person but like i don't want to be like sleeved out you know what i mean just like a few tattoos here and there but i'll be 18 so i'll be able to get them find a freaking lee 
I do have my list written down here and I'm not gonna get rid of it. It's I wrote it all down on the app Notion, which is where I keep all my things. I even have my YouTube ideas on here and everything. So yeah. And like as you see, I do have a bunch of YouTube ideas. So don't you guys worry, it's all set. Um you'll be seeing a bunch more you'll see you'll be seeing a lot more of me. So um that was my 2023 bucket list. <laughs> Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and share that video if you want to. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. I know that you're coming back home. Know that you're coming back home. Know that you're coming back home.